Hey guys, before I start the episode, uh, just to let you know that uh, while recording this episode and the next one, episode 16, I made the slight error of actually recording the, both these episodes back to back with my microphone muted. Yep, there I am, talking away, absolutely no audio whatsoever. So what I'm going to try and do in this episode is I'm going to try and lay a new face cam over the top. Um, and basically try and do some commentary on my video as it's going through it. Uh, I could have just thrown the whole thing away and just carried on with the next episode, but I thought at the very least if I can try and recover at least some of this, I'll do it as a test. If this doesn't work, I won't do it again, but I thought at the very least I could give it a try. Hopefully you still enjoy the episode. Run intro. Hey guys, welcome to episode 15 of my Bristol Rovers FM20 playthrough. My name is James. And today's episode, I will be uh, commentating over my recording as I uh, laid out in the intro um, for episode 15, where we will have the Bristol the Bristol Derby, Bristol Rovers versus Bristol City, and we'll have West Ham away, both in the Championship. Since last episode, uh, we've played two matches. We played uh, Stoke at home, a uh, very, very clean, clear-cut win, actually, at home to Stoke. Uh, and then a slightly less clear cut, but still just as satisfying 3-2 away uh, win at Charlton. Uh, that game was actually far closer than it could have been. Uh, I think we may be starting to see some of the issues we had last season where um, where our players start getting tired near the end of games. And uh, they definitely did tail off in the end of this one. We were running comfortably 3-1. Uh, yes, we only conceded one goal, um, but it definitely made Charlton look uh, a lot better than they actually had been in that match up to that point. Now, one thing that did come out of those two games and um, he scored in the last episode is the emergence of Lumeca. He's now scored five goals. Uh, he's also got three assists as well so far this season, playing out on that right-hand side. I really do believe he's going to be a, a star for us if he carries on the way he's going, uh, especially with Clark Harris having been out the side and injured. Um, the fact that he uh, he has definitely picked up the mantle um, when it when it comes to uh, when it comes to scoring and and helping us get those those vital points that are, that are going to keep us up and not only just keep us up but but really and truly help us try and compete for the playoffs. Uh, so into the first match of the episode, we have Bristol Rovers versus Bristol City in the Bristol Derby, and this is the team for the for the match. We have Jacola in goal, a bat four of Holmes, Dennis, Long, Kilgore, and Adebayo, Agogo, Clark, and Upson in central midfield and Barrett, Lumeca and Clark Harris up front. So here we are, what has got to be one of the biggest matches in recent years uh, for Bristol Rovers. Uh, it's been a while since they, it's been a few seasons since we've had a, uh, a Bristol Derby and so we'll definitely want to try and get off on a good footing, especially as we're now competing in the league for best position uh, at the end of the season. So I went down a, let's give the fans a performance today. Let's do this for the fans. It's going to be all about them. Uh, this is going to be a very, this is a, this is a fierce rivalry. And here we have the first highlight. Holmes Dennis with the throw in. Cleared by Ward, but Holmes Dennis manages to collect it again. Looks to bring it forward and recycle the play. To a go-go, to Upson. Pushes it out wide to Odebeo. Is he going to put a cross in? No, he brings it back to Lumeca and there he scores. Lumeca scores his sixth goal of the season to put Bristol Rovers up 1-0 against Bristol City. Uh, great cross there, uh, great uh, um, great pullback there by uh, by Odebeo. He could have put the cross in, but he saw Lumeca just lose his marker into space. There he is, just brings it back, passes it into into space, and then uh, Lumeca puts it in at the keeper's near post. Keeper feels should, probably felt, feels he should have done better there, being conceding at his near post. Um, but that makes Bristol Rovers 1, Bristol City 0. We have another highlight here, Bristol City with a free kick, ball into the centre, but Jacola manages to collect it quite comfortably. And he passes out to Kilgore. Kilgore looking to bring this forward to Odebeo. Ball in the middle to Clark, to a go-go. Looking to try and make something from this. Clark forward to Barrett. To Upson, to a go-go. Passing it around nicely. Really patient play from us. Nice uh, football on the floor. Clark in the centre to Upson. To a go-go. Puts it out wide to Lumeca. Can he get a cross in? Cross in to Clark Harris, but the ball is blocked. And City managed to clear it for what I, what I presume was going to be a corner. Yes, it is. The corner for Rovers. Upson with the corner. Puts the ball into the centre. Looking for Lumeca, but the ball is cleared. And Wells looks to bring the ball forward for City. Looks to counter-attack from the corner. But Holmes Dennis does well. Track him back. He, he does concede a free kick, but he manages to stop the attack. Odebeo with the, with the throw-in to Upson. To a go-go. 
out to Holmes Dennis in a little bit of space there. Brings it into the penalty area. Brings it back for Clark Harris, but Clark Harris is falling as he as he tries to kick it. And it goes out. Actually, it's a penalty. It's a penalty to Clark Harris. Clark Harris to make this 2-0. And he does. It's 2-0 to Bristol Rovers. The fans are going to be going mental in this stadium at this point. This is a dreamland start, really, for Rovers in the Bristol Derby. Cool as you like in front of the fa Rovers fans. Puts it into the left-hand side, and that is 2-0. Another highlight here, 23 minutes on the clock. Barrett with the free kick into the centre, but City managed to clear it. Nagy looks to bring it forward to Wells. Wells has already gone on a run so far today. Tries to uh, take on Holmes there for a second time. Goes past him this time, but the shot is quite tame, and it trickles past Jacola's post. Here we have another highlight, 37 minutes on the clock. Odebeo with the throw in, into the centre to Barrett, but the ball is blocked. And it's brought away again by Wells. Oh, yet again, Wells manages to turn on defence inside out, brings it forward, but Kilgore is able to track back and stop the play. Barrett with the free kick, into the box, to Lumeka. Good, brilliant save there by Bentley to get down to his right-hand side and stop us going 3-0 up. But Upson with the corner. Into the centre, looking for Clark Harris, but Clark Harris is unable to uh, to collect the ball and it goes out of play. There we are, half-time, Bristol Rovers 2, Bristol City 0. Fantastic first half, we couldn't have really asked for a better first half than that. I think if I remember correctly, I th did I ask? I think I asked, don't get complacent, I believe, assertive? Yeah, don't get complacent. Uh, best team talk, I think, to better go out into the second half. We don't really need to push in the second half, but what we don't want to do is, is bring, uh, bring City on to us. Um, but we have a highlight here. 52 minutes on the clock. Barrett with the free kick. Too long at the back post, but long hits the post. And he was offside as well, so it wouldn't have counted. But another great opportunity there. 70 minutes on the clock. Holmes Dennis with a throw in to Clark Harris. Clark Harris into the centre for Upson. And Upson just puts it over the top. We really have had, had the, the lion's share of the chances in this second half. Um, and this game in general, City have really not got started. Um, I don't think they've actually even had a clear-cut chance so far in this game. But after this, I made some substitutions. Barrett, who hadn't had a great game and is looking a bit tired, I took off for Ginelli. And then Reese Cole coming on for Upson. Right, Bristol City with a highlight this time. Throw in to Ward. Looking to try and create something, try and get themselves a first chance in this game. Back to Stewart. We are really pressing them well, though. To uh, Nagy and um, Massagino, I think it is, are passing between themselves. But the ball forward from the defence. To, to to Eliasson, but uh, Odebeo managed to tackle quite well, but Eliasson does bring it in again, and the key, Jacola managed to get a hand to it to block it, um, and we do manage to win the ball back, and it's clear by Long. So it came up saying Luma, uh, Lumaka has had a knock, and he's looking to come off, so I'll bring him off for Thomas, swap him with Ginelli, and put Thomas as that inside forward on the left-hand side. So five minutes to go of normal time, uh, and City have a highlight here with a throw-in, with De Silva. To Eliasson, to De Silva, back to Eliasson. We really, we really have pressed them really well in this game. We really are limiting them when it comes to time on the ball, and I think it's really trying to, it's making them uh, make mistakes and, and maybe make decisions they wouldn't normally made. But Eliasson puts cross into the centre, looking for Odawa, Odawda, Odawda, but he puts the ball wide, and that is it. We've managed to win the first uh, the first Bristol derby uh, this season. Bristol Rovers 2, Bristol City nil. Absolutely fantastic win. Uh, it's really one of the reasons why I wanted to show you this. I, whether if we'd have been a different man, if it had been a different result, maybe uh, maybe I'd have reconsidered doing this. But I really wanted to show you guys that because it was a fantastic game by us. We really did play well, pressured them really well, and uh, and got the deserved result. Um, it also pushes up into up, us up into fourth place, uh, which is absolutely crazy after 13 games. And now on to the West Ham away match. Here we are, second match of today's episode, West Ham against Bristol Rovers at the London Stadium. Um, this is definitely, I think, going to be a much uh, much tougher affair uh, than the previous match, as difficult as the, the, the Bristol Derby always is. Uh, West Ham coming into this with excellent form, and yes, we're coming in with strong form, but they are top of the table, they are... Uh, expected to walk away with this league. Um, obviously, I'm not expecting a win from, from this match today, um, but at the very least, the guy's giving a good show in. So this is the team that's going to face West Ham today. Uh, Jacola in goal, back four of Holmes, Dennis, Long, Kilgore and Adebayo. Ogogo, Clark and Upson in midfield. Barrett, uh, Ginelli coming in for a tired Lumeco. We definitely don't want to break him, especially in a match where I'm not necessarily expecting us to win. And then Clark Harris, the lone striker up front. 
So West Ham coming into this playing a uh, well, so four two four, I suppose you describe it as or four four two, with uh, attacking wingers. Uh, definitely coming into this with uh, with a with with a confident formation. So I decided to play the underdog tactic and say uh, let's go out and cause an upset. Thirty seven minutes on the clock. Uh, West Ham with a throw in, uh, looking to try. This is the first highlight of the first half. And look at trying to get the first opportunity. Holler with the ball hits the post. Jacola was completely beaten. Luckily, the post saves saves the day for us here. But West Ham do have a corner with Snodgrass. Ball into the centre, but we managed to clear it. Holler is first to collect the ball, but Agoga manages to tackle him. But he does win the ball back to Rice. Back out to Snodgrass. Looking for the opportunity, but Clark manages to uh, calmly collect the ball. Pass it to Jacola, who puts it out for a throw in. 42 minutes on the clock, Fabianski with a goal kick to Mustafi, to Rice. Big ball out wide for Yamalenko, I think, uh, to Adrian, to Snodgrass. Looking to try and create an opportunity, but Holmes Dennis is back there and manages to collect the ball quite calmly and, and clear it to Ginelli. Brilliant ball forward to Ginelli. Ginelli coming forward, but he is tackled and does lose the ball again. Uh, and West Ham now look to recycle the play and bring the ball forward. Ball in to, to, for, to Fornals, I think that is. But Jacola manages to save it and it goes out for another West Ham corner. I really am terrible at pronouncing these players' names. I really am. Snodgrass with the corner into the centre. But we do manage to, manage to clear it. But, uh, but Adrian is out there to try and bring the ball back in again. But nothing manages to come of it. Snodgrass with another corner. But Long manages to clear it again to Rice. But Rice puts it, luckily puts it wide. Uh, and we go in to uh, ha at half time west ham nil bristol rovers nil um couldn't have asked really for a better scoreline uh coming into this with the expectation obviously that we were going to lose and especially with especially the, with the lack of opportunity we've had in the first half I'm not happy with their performance as much as it is against a team who is our our far superior to us uh we uh we haven't really given the showing in that first half and and I think at the very least, if we can craft ourselves one or two opportunities, we give us the best chance of trying to turn this nil-nil draw into a possible one-nil win. But Snodgrass has the free kick into the centre. And that was, that's was that been coming since the start of the match. Uh, Yermolenko with the header into in the uh, in the area from the Snodgrass free kick puts it into the bottom left. And that is West Ham 1, Bristol Rovers nil. Almost 70 minutes on the clock. Uh, so to make some substitutions. So swapping uh, Ginelli across uh, to the left-hand side and then bringing on Lumeca for Barrett. And taking uh, Odebeo off and bringing on Little for a runabout as he's not been in, uh, really been in the team since his injury. Only five minutes left to go. Thought I'd push to very attacking and uh, see if we make a final substitution. So I'd take Ginelli off, bring on uh, George Thomas, try and bring him as an inside forward as another hopefully attacking opportunity on that left hand side. See if we can try and uh, try and scrape a draw out of this match. But there we go, full time it was not to be. A West Ham won, Bristol Rovers nil. Uh, as much as uh, as much as we didn't get many opportunities in that match, I think we did really well to only lose one nil to a team that are uh, even even now running away with the league as as much as West Ham are and, and likely to dominate uh, throughout the season. I think I did agree with the assistant manager. I told them that uh, couldn't before, I couldn't fault their performances today. It was just one of those days. Um, they were unlucky. So that loss uh, did drop us down a couple of places to sixth, but we're still a point ahead of Leeds, which at this point of the season I can be happy with. Uh, anywhere in the top half of the table is uh, is a fantastic result for us when we're expected to be relegated. So uh, I'm going to only play one game offline. Uh, I played uh, played Doncaster, um, and then the next episode will be a very similar to this one with me commentating over the top, as it, the as the next episode was one of the other ones I recorded without audio. It'll be Sheffield United uh, at home and Crystal Palace also at home in the Championship. Obviously, big matches being the fact that it's second uh, and third in the table. Because yeah, if we can compete, uh, show show competition against Sheffield United and Crystal Palace, if we do happen to go into dreamland and 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 end up in the playoffs um, at least it shows that we're not going to be a complete washout as as those are likely to be the teams that we're going to be facing so if you enjoyed that and you did get to the end of this episode even though it's been a bit of a weird one uh, thank you very much please like it if you liked subscribe to the channel for more fn20 videos from me every monday wednesday and friday at 5 p.m and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of brand new videos as they come out and thank you very much for watching